Whoa, look at those balls. You got it, you got it. That one is the biggest one. That one looks like a cow. That's why you gotta give these things a death grip. Dead yellow perch. in back to back videos I am late to the spot I wanted to be here actually two hours ago I lost track of time watching fishing videos on YouTube but nevertheless I've made it to the Pemigewasset River and I only really get a chance to fish this river a couple times a year because I have the Merrimack River like five minutes away from where I live. So I don't really like driving 50 minutes all the way up to the Pemi to fish it. Dude, why not drive that 50 minutes just to try it out? There are some big pickerel in here. And although I do want some large mouth today, I do want some small mouth. Kind of like the side goal for today is to catch a big pickerel. Wait, enough talking. Let's put on the GoPro and start. All right, so as you guys can tell, I brought quite a few rods with me. I brought five with me in total. I'm not gonna go through all the rods I brought with me today. Um, once I use the lures that are on them, I'll go through them, but I'm gonna start off with a jerk bait this morning. This is just a Vision 110 from Mega Bass. And this is one of my favorite colors. It's called Champagne Concuro. And I got that onto a Mega Bass Destroyer rod and a Shimano Metanium. Used way too much thumb there. And typically when I come to this portion of the river, I'm on my buddy's boat and he has a gas powered motor. So we can basically go wherever we want. But today I only brought my trolling motor, obviously. So uh, the places I can pick on this river are pretty limited. This combo feels so heavy <laughs> compared to my other one. There's a little isolated patch of lily pads right in front of me. I think I'm just gonna whip out the whopper plopper real quick. My jerk bait was picking up grass every cast anyway. Already moving on to my backup battery so this day might be uh, short-lived all right nothing doing on the top water gonna switch back to the jerk. All right, so it shallowed up again. I'm gonna switch over to the Whopper Plopper for a few casts.
Oh, did anyone else see that? 110% of pickerel. Usually I'm not um, a big fan of pickerel, just because I prefer largemouth and smallmouth. But at this particular section of the Pemigewasset River, the pickerel get massive. I've seen like a five pound pickerel, my buddy hooked into a six pound pickerel. And I don't necessarily believe this, probably just fishermen, fishermen's tales, but uh, apparently a couple state records have been caught here. Ooh, swing and a miss right there by something. Got him. I think it's a pickle. Yeah, looks like it. Oh no, it's a chub. A little fall fish. I knew it hit it weird. There's also big fall fish in here as well. Look at this. Look at this little guy. Little sucker. Impossible to handle. But a lot of people just call these suckers. Their technical name is fallfish, and you can catch them on bass gear. Whoa, look at those balls. The river actually, believe it or not, every spring floods from just winter melt and rain, and it actually gets that high. Really? Look how tiny this smallie is. It was probably born last year. All right, so I've made it to the backwater spot. And uh, to be honest with you guys, I'm not feeling that great about my battery and how long it's gonna last. So I think I'm gonna fish here for a little bit. Not gonna spend too much time here. Got him. Got him. Dang, he's fighting hard. He's not even that big, but... Yes. <laughs> not a bad smallmouth. Oh no. Hold on guys. Let me see if you guys can tell the difference now. 
Got my mic plugged in. Not a bad pound and a halfer. He fought so hard though, so hard. I don't want to go too much deeper in here and use up my battery, but it looks too good not to risk it. No way. Got him on the jerk. Crazy. He's not even that big. That's why you got to give these things a death grip. Don't give the fish a death grip, give the lure a death grip. And you'll never get stabbed, but just a little small mouth, about a pounder. Ooh, just got smoked by a little guy. Oh, I still have him. <laughs> He's so little, I didn't know I had him still. Got him. Little smiley. Little smally. Please be a fish. Please be a fish. Oh my gosh it is. Oh my gosh it is. I didn't think it was because it was just dead weight. Please. Oh my goodness. If you gotta run, run. If you have to run, run. Yep, yep, run, it's okay. Yep. Oh, he is like, yep, I'm gonna run. Oh my goodness. Smallmouth just don't give up, especially river smallmouth.
Let's go, baby. Ow. Wow. Look at this small mouth, baby. On the jerk bait. Look at the size of this small mouth. This is a beast of a small mouth. Are you kidding me? On the jerk bait. Go oh, four pounds. Four ounces. Wow, look at the size of her. <clears throat> no way. No way I make it back. I'm on max speed right now, going at the speed of one, and I don't even see the launch yet. But as you guys can tell, that is the launch, that little sandy area right there. So my boat battery is definitely gonna make it, so I'm just making a few casts in this backwater spot real quick. There we go. I wish my uh, GoPro was on right now, but unfortunately it died. But my first largemouth today on the Mega Bass Vision 110. So I did catch that largemouth and obviously I caught some smallmouth today. So I did achieve like the only goal that I had planned for today. And that was just to catch some smallmouth, some largemouth. Fortunately, the bonus objective today, I did not catch a big pickerel. But I'm perfectly all right with not catching any big pickerel if I catch a big smallmouth like that. That's one of the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. Personal best is five pounds. So not quite at the five pound mark, but pretty close. And overall, I had a pretty good day. I came into this morning thinking I was gonna hammer them, and that was a little bit too optimistic on my part. I just wish both my boat batteries didn't die on me, then I'd actually still be out there fishing right now. Jerkbait I was using is my favorite brand jerkbait of all time. It's a Mega Bass Vision 110, and one of my favorite colors as well. This is Champagne Kinkuro. Just basically gold with a uh, color transitioning paint up top. It goes from purple to blue. I have that on 20 pound fluorocarbon line to a, basically it's a medium power rod. And then I have a Shimano Metanium MGL. Get out of here, fly. Whopper plopper combo I was using. I was using a medium heavy, which might be a little bit overkill for top water. I'll definitely agree with that. But today I was using a medium heavy Abu Garcia rod. It's like their Jordan Lee combo. And I was using 12 pound monofilament. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.